Two technicians run from something in the sewers. One is dragged under the water. Chuck climbs up the ladder and sees the first technician get dragged away. He calls for help and a third technician tries to help him. Chuck is suddenly pulled downward and the technician's truck is dragged back by an unseen force. A group of five witnesses the event and uses magic to reveal a large four-legged creature. The creature throws a car at the group, but they dodge it. Mordo cuts off the creature's tail and they use a magic spell to make it appear as a tornado. Dr. Stephen Strange sees the tornado and the creature inside. The group captures the creature and kills it. Mordo disappears and Wong uses a spell to disappear from Strange's sight. One of the sorcerers notes that Strange saw them even through Wong's spell. Strange visits Wellhaven Hospital for rounds, but Corey tries to get him to treat a patient named Miss Latinzy. Strange is not interested in treating her as she has a low income and a modest deductible. An argument ensues and Strange slams the door in Corey's face. Later, Oliver, the hospital administrator, talks to Strange about a personal conflict with Dr. Gina Atwater, who has been complaining about Strange. Oliver asks them to work together and Strange agrees to schedule Gina for a consultation. Strange visits the coma ward and meets with Gina, who is surprised he came down. Strange reminds her that he was hired to handle special cases, which bring recognition and money to the hospital. Gina questions whether he cares about patients anymore, but Strange claims that caring is a luxury he cannot afford as he only handles hopeless cases. Gina introduces him to Camille Carranza, a 12-year-old girl with a serious brain condition. Strange initially suggests she needs a psychoanalyst, but realizes the severity of her condition when Gina shows him the scans of her brain. After examining Camille, Strange sees a demonic head and leaves the ward, followed by Gina and Mrs. Carranza, who begs him to help her daughter. However, Strange claims he cannot help her. He drives near a bridge and through a tunnel while listening to a news report. As his radio clock turns to midnight, Strange sees fire and a demon head chasing him but finds nothing when he looks behind him. He crashes his car into a guardrail and passes out. Strange wakes up in a hospital room and is surprised to find Gina there. He asks about the children, but Gina informs him that there were no children and that Steakin simply lost control. Gina tries to reassure him that he'll be okay, but Strange soon realizes that his hands are wrapped in bandages with his fingers grouped together. He demands to see his chart, and Gina initially resists, but eventually complies. After reading his chart, Strange realizes the severity of his condition, and Gina suggests that he could still practice medicine. But Strange knows that won't be possible. Later, Strange struggles with simple tasks like opening his front door and shaving. He becomes frustrated and angry, pushing everything off the counter in a fit of rage. He reaches out to Oliver for help, who suggests a doctor in Berlin who might be able to help him. Doctor Strange travels to Berlin for a nerve reattachment procedure for his injured hands, but later tries other treatments in Sydney and Hong Kong, all of which prove unsuccessful. He eventually runs out of money and starts living in a rundown hotel. Desperate and out of options, he falls off a bridge, but miraculously slows down and gently sets down on the ground. He then meets Wang, who tells him that he can be healed in Tibet. With the help of Gina, he reaches the temple where Wong opens the door and lets him in. Strange and his group are brought to the Ancient One by Wong and Mordo. The Ancient One speaks of spiritual guidance, but Strange is impatient and asks about a cure. The Ancient One dismisses Strange, and as he turns around, he reveals that he had been hovering the whole time. Strange tries to follow, but Mordo grabs him, and the Ancient One allows him to stay. Wong then takes Strange to his room, which is empty except for a rug. Wong tells Strange he must earn his comfort and that he will start working in the morning. Meanwhile, a group of sorcerers, including Mordo, head to Central Park to battle Shadow Hounds. The Hounds suddenly appear and attack the group, but they fight back with magic and spells. Mordo destroys several of the Hounds with his sword, but the Hounds keep coming. As the light goes out, Wong casts a spell to illuminate the area, revealing that they are completely surrounded by Hounds. Mordo charges into battle, determined to defeat the Hounds. At the temple, Strange is tasked with scrubbing floors by the Ancient One. Meanwhile, the group faces a growing threat from Dormammu's forces. Strange works hard but struggles with his injured hands. In his dreams, the Ancient One urges him to tear down his emotional wall of grief. The group faces a new threat from Chinu, and the Ancient One insists they must work together to stop it. Strange makes progress and is deemed ready for the next step. Mordo splits group in two outside Sanctum. In Tibet, Strange removes Cube from Wall Falls and meets Ancient One. 
Ancient One shows that weight is irrelevant to the chosen few by easily moving heavy platform. Ancient One conjures up a sword, but it disappears when handed to Strange. Ancient One explains that sorcery wields energy and matter, making limitations irrelevant. Stephen's hands glow with blue energy and the wall disappears as he accepts the unacceptable. Ancient One invites Stephen to see what's beyond the wall. Mordo trains Strange in sword combat, but Strange no longer needs bandages. Mordo overpowers Strange, slamming him against a statue and throwing him towards the edge. Strange defends himself with a conjured sword and absorbs the energy around them, pushing Mordo back. Mordo conjures two axes and Wong intervenes to remind Mordo he is to train, not kill. Wong takes over Strange's training and explains Strange's unique gift to absorb magic. Wong trains Strange in martial arts. Strange practices manipulating drops of water. The Ancient One senses something and Strange shaves his beard. They go to the city through a portal. The Ancient One explains the existence of different dimensions in the Nexus, a space where dimensions cross over. Dormammu, a creature of corrupted magic, once ruled over the world until the Ancient One sealed the portal. The wing mark, a sign of Dormammu's return, is on its way. Strange touches the barrier and realizes Dormammu's influence on the creatures. Strange and his allies face the threat of Dormammu, who can enter their dimension through the minds of ghostly children. Killing them is not an option, so Strange decides to wake them up, cutting off Dormammu's escape. While he works at the hospital, Mordo makes a deal with Dormammu, offering his services in exchange for something he wants. Meanwhile, Ancient One defends the Sanctum against the Wing Mark, flying mouths heading towards them. With the help of Wong, she hands over the eye to him and meditates. Strange uses his powers to wake up the ghostly children and save them from Dormammu's world. Car crash blocks intersection. Taxi driver attacked by Wing Mark, eaten to bones. Creature continues consuming bystanders. Strange awakens child in hospital. Dormam is suspected, asks for Mordo's help. Children rise. Mordo attacks Strange, joins Dormammu. Wing Mark approach Sanctum. Sorcerers defend with spells. Ancient One destroys most of Swarm, exhausted and killed by Mordo. Wong gives Eye of Agamotto to Strange to find Mordo, his destiny. Zombie children converge around Mordo, sensing Strange presence. Mordo attacks with his sword, but Wong intervenes. As they fight, Strange sees flames coming from the children's eyes, mouths, and noses. The flames create a vortex and Dormammu appears. Mordo cuts Wong and attempts to finish him off, but Strange stops him. Strange conjures a sword and defends himself, turning them both into bats. Mordo fails and is consumed by Dormammu. Dormammu takes the eye and attacks Strange and Wong. Strange absorbs Dormammu's magic and defeats him, but the creatures he released are still out there. Gina is reading when Strange appears and admits she was right. He's ready to give back and his hands are healed. Gina wakes up at her desk. Strange stands at April's grave, dressed as Sorcerer Supreme. Wong checks on him and Strange walks away. At Sanctum, Wong reports on new recruits, including Klee. They go inside and Strange magically closes the door.